Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has rolled out the latest Windows 11 Insider Preview build to the Canary and Dev channels for this week, which is build 26058, which they rolled out on the 14th of February. Now, in effect, uh, the Dev and Canary channels are currently where Microsoft is testing features that we could possibly see roll out with our annual Windows 11 24H2 feature update that will be rolling out starting September, October, later this year. And if you are interested as to what's new in build 26058, just to go through a couple of the key highlights from this week's latest preview build. Now, first of all, there's a new pointer indicator, which is a new accessibility setting for low vision Windows users, according to Microsoft. And to me, this looks more like a sniper site. But uh, nonetheless, this could be handy, especially if you obviously have low vision. And um, you can now easily locate and use your cursor, as we can see from the screenshot provided from the release notes. And to enable um, this experience, Microsoft says you go uh, to the settings, accessibility, mouse pointer and touch page in your settings and enable the pointer indicator setting. And we can see that if we just zoom in here, we can see pointer indicator and that's where that could possibly be when it rolls out and if it rolls out to the stable. And you can also toggle it on and off with the keyboard shortcut win and control and X. So some interesting stuff happening. And um, that new mouse indicator, pointer indicator um, could be very handy, especially as mentioned, if you have low vision. Now, the next one is all about widgets board improvements. And there's quite a lot going on with the widgets board this week in the Canary and Dev channels. And first of all, um, as we can see here, uh, um, there's a little improvement or a little change here to the left-hand side where there is now a new navigation bar. And Microsoft says with these improvements, they are trying to give you more space for your widgets. And obviously, the widget board currently, the stable version, needs a lot of work done to it, in my personal opinion. And um, there's quite a lot of debate regarding the widget board, if it actually is useful or isn't. But nonetheless, they are introducing this new navigation bar here, as mentioned, um, on the left, where you can now switch between a dedicated widgets dashboard and other integrated dashboards like Discover. So yeah, we have an example of um, your Discover or your Microsoft Start, and there we have with uh, the dedicated widgets. So basically, the widgets board is going to be divided into two, one for, um, let's just call it your newsfeed, and the other for your widgets. So that's going to be an interesting one to watch. But as mentioned, still early days, and it's hard to say if this will actually roll out with version 24H2. But nonetheless, that is something that Microsoft is currently working on in the Canary and Dev channels. And then another so-called improvement um, is there is now new notification badging for widgets. And as we can see, uh, widget badges will notify you when you miss a notification on your taskbar. And uh, um, this is basically what we're looking at there is an example of a notification badge for widgets that shows that there are three missed notifications. And then if we head to the next, you can see when you open the widgets board, you can see details. Yeah, uh, basically in your and on your widgets board, you can see details for the, not the notification you missed in the top left corner of the board. Now, um, I personally hope there is a setting to toggle this off. Personally, I don't want to see notifications for a news feed as an example. So I certainly hope they give us a toggle or a switch or an option to be able to turn that off and on depending on your own personal choice and preference. Now this one we've spoken a lot, quite a lot on the channel and uh, this is the richer weather experience on the lock screen. Now I'm not going to spend too much time here because this uh, is already starting to roll out to the stable version in some regions but if you are in the Canary channel you will now start seeing the richer weather experience on your lock screen which includes dynamic interactive weather updates so as you hover over the weather experience on your lock screen You'll see more information when you tap or click on the weather card and sign in. So that richer weather experience is now available in the Canary channel. Now this last one we're going to look at today uh, is one I'm very happy to see that Microsoft is working on. And I certainly hope this makes it down and into the Windows 11 version 24H2 
annual feature update rolling out later this year. And we are finally going to get labeling for the um, shortcut actions in the right click context menu when you right click on a file. So Microsoft says to make it easier to use the file explorer context menu, labels have been added to previously unlabeled actions such as cut, copy, paste, rename, share and delete. And this is one of my gripes with this new menu in Windows 11 that um, they just don't have the names underneath each um, action and this is all set to change and personally this is small yet I think a very significant update um, which I personally hope Microsoft does roll out uh, with Windows 11 version 24H2 or even sooner if possible. And then over and above that um, there are fixes for known issues and then we get new known issues because obviously uh, the Canary and Dev channels are still very early days in the Insider program. But that's more or less what's new. That's just some of the key highlights. And that's in build 26058 that rolled out on the 14th to the Canary and Dev Insiders. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.